Chelsea Davy rejects Prince Harry's plea to open up in his memoir sequel. What this means for their past and future. Prince Harry's spare memoir caused a stir, selling well and sparking debates worldwide. Now, rumors of a sequel have emerged, with Chelsea Davy, Harry's past love, in the spotlight. She has surprisingly turned down his request to share their story. Why did she say no? What does this mean for Prince Harry's narrative? And more importantly, what does it reveal about the untold story of Chelsea Davy and Prince Harry? Let's dig into the details behind this decision, what it could mean for Harry's sequel, and how their relationship has shaped who he is today. <clears throat> A royal romance that could have been the Chelsea Davy era. Prince Harry's love life is often associated with Meghan Markle. But before her, Chelsea Davy was a significant part of his life. Their seven-year relationship faced intense scrutiny and breakups, leaving a lasting what-if feeling. The early days of their relationship, a love like no other, Prince Harry and Chelsea Davy met in 2004, both in their early 20s. Harry was known for his wild side, attracting and repelling the press. Chelsea, a Zimbabwean-born free spirit, was a fresh contrast to what the public expected. Their relationship stood out for its authenticity. In a world of royal duties and formalities, their love seemed real. Chelsea wasn't after fame or a royal title, unlike others in Harry's life. But what kept them together for so long? And why did they never get married? Chelsea's silence on their relationship might hold the key to understanding her decision to reject Harry's memoir plea. <clears throat> Chelsea's silence. A respect for privacy or something deeper. Chelsea Davies' decision to not participate in Harry's sequel has sparked curiosity. She could have shared a side of the story. Instead, she chose to remain silent. Why stay silent when you could speak up? Chelsea's life after Harry has been marked by her privacy. Unlike other royal exes, she hasn't sought fame or fortune. Her career as a lawyer and jewelry entrepreneur might reflect her desire for an independent identity. Is her silence about privacy or protecting Harry? Revealing their relationship could harm Harry's carefully crafted narrative and royal family image. <clears throat> the memoir dilemma. How much is too much? Prince Harry wrote Spare to reclaim his story. The memoir's success highlighted his mental health struggles, royal pressures, and personal tragedies. The public wants more, but how much is too much? A sequel to Spare? What can we expect? Harry might write another memoir after the first one's success. But Chelsea's refusal to contribute could change the book's tone and content. The first memoir covered Harry's early years, including his mother's death and his relationship with his father. If the next book focuses on his romantic past, Chelsea's absence might be felt. It raises questions about how much to share about past relationships. Many readers are curious about Harry's life before Meghan. But is it right to explore those moments without consent? Chelsea seems to think not. <sighs> Lessons from Chelsea Davy. Why Boundaries Matter Chelsea Davy's choice to not participate in Prince Harry's memoir is a lesson in boundaries. Her silence is powerful. The power of setting boundaries. By not joining the memoir, Chelsea shows her life is hers alone. She's not just a part of Prince Harry's story. She's her own author. This message is timely, as personal and public lives often blend. Setting boundaries is empowering. It's a reminder that you don't have to share every part of your life even if you're famous. <clears throat> what happens next for Prince Harry? Prince Harry's next memoir will likely get a lot of attention, with or without Chelsea Davy. Her absence might make readers curious about Harry's life that hasn't been shared. Can Harry write a complete story without her? Excluding Chelsea might make Harry's story incomplete. But it could also let him focus on his own experiences and growth. How Meghan Markle might influence the next book is also a question. Will it explore their relationship and struggles with the media? Or will it focus on Harry's royal family ties? <sighs> the end of an era or just the beginning? Chelsea Davies' decision might seem like the end of a chapter, but it could also start a new era of self-reflection and empowerment for both of them. What will Harry's next chapter look like? Prince Harry's success with Spare shows people want to hear his story. His next book will likely challenge the royal narrative, pushing boundaries and redefining what it means to be a modern prince. <clears throat> a final thought? The value of your own story. Chelsea Davies' choice is a reminder that we control our own stories. Do we owe explanations for our past choices? Or can we move forward, creating new stories and leaving the past behind? The most important lesson is the power of owning your narrative. 
Whether you choose to tell your story or not, it's yours to decide. Your life is your own, and how you share it is up to you. <clears throat> Call to action. Your thoughts matter. Now that we've explored Chelsea Davies' decision and Prince Harry's memoir, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Chelsea staying silent? Should memoirs include details about past relationships? Or is it better to focus on the future? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's continue this conversation. The complexities of memoirs and the ethics of sharing personal stories. Memoirs give readers a peek behind the curtain. Prince Harry's spare was a new precedent for royal tell-alls. But Chelsea Davies' refusal to participate raises an important question. Where do we draw the line between personal storytelling and privacy? Should past relationships be off-limits in memoirs? Sharing personal experiences is one thing, but involving others is tricky. Chelsea Davies' decision to reject Harry's plea raises a critical question. Is it fair to share one side of a story if the other party isn't comfortable with it? Memoirs are one-sided, representing the author's perspective. This could explain Chelsea's hesitation. By refusing to contribute, Chelsea is protecting her privacy and right to define her own narrative. This brings up the larger issue of consent in memoir writing. When is it acceptable to share stories that involve other people, even in deeply personal territory? When memoirs go too far, the risks of overexposure. High-profile memoirs can overshare. While it can be cathartic for the author, revealing too much can have unintended consequences. In Spare, Harry's candid revelations were both praised and criticized for crossing personal boundaries. Where does Prince Harry draw the line? With a potential sequel to Spare, the question remains. Will Harry be more cautious this time around, or will he continue to push boundaries? Chelsea's refusal to participate may force him to reconsider how he approaches certain topics, like past relationships. Some memoirs thrive on scandal and controversy, but there's also an argument for leaving some details to the imagination. After all, not every story needs to be told in full for it to be impactful. Could Harry's sequel still succeed without delving into his past relationships? Absolutely. There are countless other aspects of his life that have yet to be explored. <sighs> the impact of memoirs on relationships. Are they worth the fallout? Memoirs can affect relationships, both with the people mentioned and those who are not. In Prince Harry's case, Spare reportedly caused tension within the royal family. While the book allowed Harry to voice his side of the story, it also deepened rifts that may take years to heal. Could a second memoir make things worse? If Harry's next memoir continues to explore difficult subjects like family dynamics and past relationships, there's a real risk of further estrangement. On the other hand, the success of Spare proves that readers are eager for more insight into Harry's life, and many will likely welcome a sequel with open arms. But for Harry, the question remains, is it worth sacrificing personal relationships for the sake of transparency? <clears throat> Chelsea Davies' role in Harry's life, a love that shaped him. Chelsea Davy may have stepped back from the spotlight, but her impact on Prince Harry's life is undeniable. Their relationship, from 2004 to 2011, was a significant part of Harry's youth. Harry has said their bond was deeply meaningful, showing Chelsea's influence on his growth. What would Chelsea's perspective add to Harry's story? Chelsea's insights could have given a richer view of their relationship. Dating a prince must have been challenging. Her thoughts on royal life and their breakup's reasons are missing from Harry's story. Harry has shared some breakup reasons, like Chelsea's discomfort with royal attention. But Chelsea's silence speaks volumes. It might reveal more than words could. <clears throat> Moving forward, what's next for Chelsea and Prince Harry? Chelsea Davy and Prince Harry's lies have moved in different directions. Chelsea has focused on her jewelry brand, while Harry is in the US with Meghan Markle. What does the future hold for Chelsea Davy? Chelsea's choice to keep private in the face of media is admirable. She could have used her fame but chose her own path. This decision has earned her respect. Will she share her story? Maybe. But for now, she's happy to live her life away from royal drama. <sighs> Prince Harry's evolving narrative. Can he move beyond the past? Harry's memoir sequel is a chance to define his legacy. But it's a challenge to balance openness with respect for those in his life. He can share his story without focusing on past relationships. There are many aspects of Harry's life yet to be explored. His work with mental health charities and fatherhood are just a few. Harry's memoir will succeed if it offers candid insights without oversharing. Whether Chelsea Davies' involvement changes the book's direction is uncertain. But one thing is clear. 
the world will be watching.